There's nothing baseball players dread more than a terrible injury that puts their career at risk. When you're a superstar like Bryce Harper, the fans and franchise are as eager as you for your recovery. Ladies and gentlemen, is the end coming for Bryce Harper? Coming off an incredible season, 2022 will be a memorable year for the Philadelphia Phillies, who log their 140th season in the history of the franchise, making it to the World Series and winning the National League pennant each for the first time since 2009. The Phillies had an incredible run and owe a lot of that success to Bryce Harper. In the 2022 regular season, Harper had recorded 63 runs, 18 home runs, 65 RBIs with a batting average, 286, while playing eight games in the right field and 90 games as a designated hitter. Then he went on to record his first career World Series experience and won the NLCS MVP award. His match-deciding home runs gave them the edge, the wildcard series against the St. Louis Cardinals. And in Game 5 of the National League Championship Series against the Padres, Harper hit a game-winning home run to send the Phillies to the World Series and earn himself the National League Championship MVP title at the end of the game. Despite losing the World Series to the Astros, their incredible postseason was a sign of good things to come. Sadly, not all things would point to the 2023 season to look forward to. It's no question that Bryce Harper is a tough guy and an invaluable asset to the Phillies. That's why despite his numerous injuries, he has not failed to represent his team. During the 2022 season, on May 12th, it was reported that he had a minor tear in his right elbow. The tear had affected his ulnar collateral ligament, and as such, he was ruled out of throwing but made a designated hitter. A few days later, he received a platelet-rich plasma injection for his elbow. But this was a short-term fix as MRI scans showed muscle and tendon strains in his right elbow. This put him out of the Phillies lineup for six weeks. Then he returned only to be hit by Blake Snell's pitch on June 25th. With a broken thumb, Harp was ruled out indefinitely but he was able to bounce back in August, first playing DH for the Phillies' AAA affiliate in Allentown. And then he completed his regular season and went on to have a monumental postseason. But then tragedy struck again for Harp. On November 23, 2022, the Phillies tweeted that Bryce Harper underwent Tommy John surgery to correct the damaged ulnar collateral ligament in his right arm, which is also his throwing arm. The Phillies wanted the surgery to be done earlier than this, but the playoffs delayed it and his recovery period will overlap into a good part of the 2023 season. It is believed he wouldn't make a return till mid-July during the All-Star Games, and even then, he'd be playing as a designated hitter, a role he's no stranger to. If the Phillies are lucky to make it to the playoffs, he would have recovered just in time to play outfield. The other teams in the MLB may not be looking forward to a Bryce Harper return, but the fans and everyone at the Phillies franchise is. Are you by any chance one of such people who doesn't want to see him back, or is it the other way around? We want to know. Anyway, Phillies manager Rob Thompson had this to say following Harper's surgery. You don't ever want to lose Bryce. He's one of the best hitters in baseball, if not the best. We spent a lot of time without him last year and it gave other guys the opportunity to step up and they did so. So while we'll be missing him and looking forward to getting him back, we'll be looking for the same thing. When a star like Bryce Harper is absent, there's a void in the team and anybody with hopes to replace him sure do have big shoes to fill. With a lot of top prospects from their minor league affiliates, there's no shortage of young talents to pick from. Andrew Painter, their first overall pick, the 2021 draft, international signing from Taiwan, Hao Yu Li, who recorded nine home run hitters in 79 games, William Bergola Jr., who was the Phillies' top international signing in 2022, and Carl Crawford's son, Justin Crawford, are some of these prospects. So if the market isn't favorable, the Phillies won't be left without a backup plan. However, the Phillies have made some new signings to keep fans optimistic about the new season. With the availability of JT Real Muto and Kyle Schwarber, the Phillies roster looked buffed up. But to make sure there was no room for doubt, they also brought in Taiwan Walker, Craig Kimbrell, and Gregory Soto. As it stands, the Phillies have the fourth highest payroll in the league. 
But out of all the signings done during the offseason, the one that got Bryce Harper excited to get back to playing would be Trey Turner's. His arrival from the Washington Nationals means that when Bryce is back from his injury, he'll be reunited with an old friend and teammate. When Bryce got the news, he couldn't hide his joy as he recalled in an interview with Sports Philadelphia wrote, John called me and said, hey, we got your friend. I said, you've got to be kidding me. Trey's an unbelievable player, dynamic player, threat on both sides of the ball. People in Philadelphia are going to love this guy just because of his demeanor and the way he plays. He plays through injury, plays hard, never wavers, just a lot of fun to be able to have him back on my team, on our team. Really excited just being able to have the feel for where our team is with Trey at the top. The charisma Bryce has makes him important despite being sidelined, and he may not be playing, but that won't stop him from supporting his teammates any chance he can as he said this in the same interview. Quote, I want to stay out of the way as much as possible, but be there as well. Just try to be the best teammate as I can. Help when I can. Do things in the clubhouse and on the team when I can. And hopefully, we're in a good place when I get back. The Phillies look scary already going into the regular season, and they will be a nightmare for teams when Bryce Harper returns. Harper understands that as much as he wants to get back to hitting home runs, He needs to be patient with his recovery, as he stated, quote, Of course, I want to play the outfield, get back out there in front of the fans in right field, doing my stuff and hearing it from all the other teams in the league, too. I look forward to the feeling of throwing a baseball again. Miss the feeling of throwing a guy out or chasing down a ball. Looking forward to that when that day comes, but I don't want to look ahead until we get to that point. He's been spending rehab in his Las Vegas residence. The nature of Tommy John's surgery affects players who play certain roles differently, as it has been seen that pitchers suffer injuries that require Tommy John's surgery more and take longer to recover, as their role requires a lot of throwing. If we're to use anything to estimate how long his recovery would take, we need to look no further than Los Angeles star pitcher Shohei Otani. He had spent just over seven months in rehab after a Tommy John surgery after the 2018 season. And given what a fighter Harp is, it's not hard to believe that his recovery could have the same trajectory. With the way things are looking, Harper could be expected to make a return earlier than expected, but he is not taking anything for granted, saying this to NBC Philadelphia. I don't want to put timelines on it. I've never dealt with anything like an elbow, so it's definitely different waters for me. Just trying to make it day by day and see how I feel. But the Phillies are a lot more optimistic as they have revealed that they may not put Bryce Harper on the 60-day injury list in the hopes that he'll be fit before the All-Star weekend. In an interview from the team's spring training facility in Clearwater, Florida, Dombrowski said this, I'm not setting any dates, but I'm just keeping that option open rather than closing an option. So it's really not a great revelation other than to just say the reality is, I'm going to just keep our options open because who knows what happens. All I've said, and I'll continue to say, it'll be before the All-Star break is our hope. But I'm also going to keep the option open that we'll see what happens. We all can't wait to see what happens next. Bryce Harper took the Phillies to the World Series and won an MVP with an elbow that needed surgery. So it's scary to imagine what a post-recovery Bryce Harper would play like. This injury is probably just another delay for the greatness to come and not a denial. But what do you think about it all, though? Is this the end for Bryce Harper? Please let us know. If you enjoyed this video about Bryce Harper, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one, too. See you there.